Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Akashic Records check-in reading for October. Now, I could not wait to do this reading because I'm smiling ear to ear. There's a sense of more happiness and abundance. So much so that we're actually incorporating a real divine abundance deck into this reading for the first time. So we're going to tap into the Akashic Records for October. We're going to tap into real divine abundance. What they're saying, direct spirit messages on how we can stay connected to real divine abundance in all forms to bring that in. We're going to get divine spirit messages for for our divine spirit this is from spirit guides loved ones passed on advice and we're going to end it with pure love from spirit which i feel like this all is all the time from loved ones passed on or spirit guides to guide us through but first let's tap into the akashic records for october so let's just clear out and see we're going to tap into the messages we're going to use our intuition and then dive in deep for the guidebook um let's just tap in here i'm really excited for october they kept on saying we're making major headway you could be feeling like a lot of abundance is coming in and happiness that up until now it's been uh, very difficult they kept saying easier times ahead and you could be feeling like this is truly easier times ahead so let's get into the question what this reading for october what are the messages for october tap into all our energy messages that want to come through for October. What should we keep in our minds and hearts for October? Ooh, right in my hands, we got two, the muse. Yes, the queen of scrolls and the muse together. So this is what I'm talking about. There is a level, this is major arcana. This is like whispers of inspiration and guidance, especially in regards to creativity and projects. And the queen of scrolls, you know this and you're tapped into this divine wisdom and look at the third eye here this is when you're working this is what i'm getting is in the physical when you're working it's like your third eye is open your crown is open to receive the divine guidance and creativity and ideas that are going to help you while you're manifesting and doing the work in the physical so this is all about divine knowing and seeing and following the muse the divine inspiration okay so the queen of scrolls that we're getting that in the physical we kept on getting the queen of pentacles um for the overall going into the end of September, going into October, so that, that we're even getting this here. So the Queen of Scrolls. So let's talk about the Queen of Scrolls and dive in deep here to get this. A beautiful woman holds a scroll as she stands in front of a sunlit archway. Around her swirls the energy of wisdom, knowledge, and Akashic truth. And when this card appears upright, she brings important information and inspiration to you. And we got the muse. So you're going to be a receiver of really important information and inspiration. And the muse came right out with this. Um, the Queen of Scrolls is a woman of higher mind whom you may already know or have yet to meet. Her purpose is to help you move through the entryway to a new level of wisdom and understanding. She could be a teacher to you in some way or offer a friendship that could develop into a deeper love. This woman could be helpful to you in some project requiring communication. She could be an author, a marketer, a publisher. If you are a writer, she may be someone who assists you in getting published. The Queen of Scrolls could also represent you. And in this reading, I am I always regard these cards as an uh, us. So you here, um, you're getting a position in a field related to communication or academics, counseling, teaching, marketing, publishing. This card indicates a phase of deepening understanding and a readiness to learn. It's the perfect time for personal growth, expansive learning, whether it's mind, body, spirit. Open the mysteries that are hidden in the Akashic Scrolls and step through the door of knowledge. And the Akashic forces close your eyes and feel the Queen of Scrolls approach. She hands you a scroll, your greater mind awakens, and feel the sparkling brilliance there. And here comes the muse, which is divine wisdom and inspiration ideas. So you're tapped in with higher wisdom and knowledge at this time in October. And I feel like we're getting divine help and guidance with inspiration ideas for our projects. Um, so there's divine knowing here, divine creativity here. Let's tap into the muse because this is where, where I feel like we're getting real divine help, inspiration, guidance for what we're accomplishing in the physical so you have deeper awareness wisdom knowledge to apply for all you're doing the muse upright the muse plays a song of upliftment imagination the petals of inspiration drift upon the wind filling the air with light and creativity this card shows a time of very heightened resourcefulness and inventiveness for you so it's going to help you 
any creative project, new or old, can receive exceptional energy now, both from you and the universe, both from you and the universe. So we're receiving exceptional energy, both from you and the universe to apply to your creative projects. Call to the spirit muses and let them join you and the creator within to lift your project to the skies. Wow, this is such divine help, support, backing for all you're trying to accomplish in your projects and your creativity. Um, Akashic Forces, close your eyes and touch in with the force of inspiration and pure potential. A swirl of music, beauty, movement, imagination flow through you and around you. You can give birth to any possibility. Feel this power of creation now. No wonder they ask me to... Uh, uh, add the power of this, real divine abundance, because the unlimited potential of this to apply to your creative projects, your all of that, your link to this. This is you, what's happening here in October. Let's get some additional messages for October. This is why I was so excited. The potentiality that's back that you're connected to for your projects to get out of caught in the ruins, the queen of roses. So again, it's a major arcana. We're getting this divine surge of divine knowledge, wisdom, help with our creativity and our projects to get out of caught in the ruins, which felt like lockdowns, close outs, removed from what you need and want. It reminds me of the five of pentacles. I'm not even reading this card. I'm sorry, because that's what we're getting out of. We know and feel this energy. That's what we're getting out of. That's why we need this divine connection, backing wisdom, swirls of creativity, passion, purpose, inspiration to apply to these projects and creativity and to own it, to walk as the queen of roses. This is beautiful. So let's go right into the queen of roses to embody the queen of roses with all that you're doing as you're going forward in your projects, in your work, in your personal. Um, this is what they're saying to walk with this. So let's go into the queen of roses. Let me get into the queen of caught in the, in the ruins. I can't even go there. <laughs> We've all been caught in the ruins for quite a long time. We do not need to be triggered by reading this anymore. The Queen of Roses. So upright, this card shows a beautiful woman with roses in her hair and all around her. A beautiful scene expands outside, but she is peacefully focusing on the flower in her hand. The Queen of Roses signifies a woman who's loving, supportive, but with a passionate side as well. That's what's backing us to be passionate and walk with love and this. This is a card of a loving connection, a relationship with someone you know may deepen and become more meaningful or someone you may appear. Be open to the connection. It may be a romantic one. It might be a friend, a family member, or a co-worker who's going to be very helpful and valuable to you in some way. The Queen of Roses can also represent you in your life stepping into the role of a wife or a mother at this time it's a time just for loving energy to be voiced for loving energy to be voiced this card upright sometimes shows a happy resolution to a difficulty talk about getting out of the car in the ruins card so open your heart to the expression of caring within and around you and the Kashuk forces close your eyes and step into the energy of the queen of roses get to know that caring power and gentle temperament Feel compassion fill you and notice your desire to bring a loving embrace to yourself and to the world. So not only are we getting the inspiration, the creativity, and you're getting the wisdom, but you're getting the loving, compassionate to walk this way. You hear the sirens? And bring that to all your projects and to the people around you as we're getting out of caught in the ru ruins. This is what they want you to literally embody at this time. So bring that loving compassion to you. Bring, carry it forth and bring it to all. And look at what we're blooming in the physical out of getting out of the car in the ruins. So you're getting loving, backing support by wisdom, ideas, creativity to infuse you with more love and care and ideas to bring to projects in the world around you. So embody the queen of roses. Yes, and do the work. Eight of keys, master artisan, spring, autumn. So this is the force going from spring and autumn. And look at the harvest that we're bringing in here. It is the force that's they're infusing us to do the work and to make the bloom. When they called my attention, the queen of roses, you're bringing this energy, this backed energy, major arcana of divine energy that's blooming things, blooming things. That's the force behind it. And we're doing the work. So this is the energy, the repeating message of October. 
and make no surprise, these are the cards that are coming out. I have chills, this is why I couldn't wait to do this reading. It's like this divine backing. Um, to walk this way, embody the Queen of Roses and bring this divine inspiration, wisdom, knowledge that you're getting helped, literally, um, as with the muse. You're getting helped with your projects. Um, you're getting helped even to embody the Queen of Roses and bring, bring it and do the work in the physical to bring in this harvest, okay? Spring, autumn, the force. So the spring card upright shows a budding tree and flowers beginning to bloom. It is one of the seasonal cycle cards and it indicates you're entering a time of planting and active preparation. Just as the spring is a very full time for the farmer who's tilling the ground and planting his crop. So let yourself put in a little more effort now as you lay the groundwork for the time ahead. This could be a very creative period for you, which is why we're getting this extreme backing to seize that and do the work and plant. It's going to be a very creative period for you. Take action in the creative projects or work-related endeavors that require more time and attention. The work you do now could yield great rewards later. That's why we're getting such tremendous backing to get the inspiration and do the work. Make sure you engage in this extra activity with joy and optimism. Embody the Queen of Roses as you do the work. Um, you can't make this up. Make sure you engage in this extra activity with joy and optimism. You're always planting your energy into the Akashic Records of your life. So as you work towards your goals, remember to plant hope and happiness along with all the action you take. Remember to embody the Queen of Roses as you do your work. It's giving you the harvest. Wow, wow, wow. Close your eyes and feel yourself stand tall. Like, look at this, standing tall as the queen of roses as you do the work. Close your eyes and feel yourself stand tall, placing one foot in the spring and the other in the autumn. As you look at your life, ask yourself what step will help you plant a new situation and what step will you help will help you harvest. See those actions before you now and do the work as the queen of roses. You're being backed. You're absolutely being backed. And all of this together is getting us out of the ruins. Master Artisan, I have chills, chills, chills. It's like, as you work, realize what kind of energy you're planting along with doing the actual work. That's bringing the divine harvest in. I have chills and waves. This is absolutely gorgeous and repeating every spirit message I've been getting about this time. Upright, the master artisan. You have to know you have this backing as you're doing the work, okay? As you're doing the work, this is so gorgeous to be the queen of roses as you do the work. It's bringing in the harvest. Oh my gosh, the master artisan. Upright, inside a bright and bustling artisan's workshop, apprentices are busy at their workbenches, which are arrayed with the beautiful fruits of their labors. The master artisan pours a number of beautiful shining gems into the open hands of one of his apprentices. This card indicates you now have the opportunity to offer your talents, your purpose, and your gifts to the world, making a contribution to many. Don't be shy and don't hold back what you have to share. Remember, you're the queen of roses. It's not the time to hide your light under a basket. As a, matter of, as a matter of fact, you may now find yourself teaching or training your skill set to others. You may also be demonstrating your gifts and performing your talents publicly. Even if your gifts lie in the ability for loving, compassionate care, you will be sharing those gifts with others. And in this period of time, you can build your reputation, take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. So take action, put yourself out there, and let yourself shine. There is much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to the world, much beauty and empowerment for you to bring to the world because you're embodying the queen of roses as you do the work. So the Akasha Force says, close your eyes and fill yourself filled with all the gifts you have to share with the world. Sense these energies through your heart and mind and out to people around you. Feel the ease of the sharing. You cannot be drained for all that you give flows back to you unceasingly to create return. Do the sharing frequently. This blows my mind because you're backed with the divine muse. So you're a receiver and you're pouring it out. It's unceasingly. So keep doing that. It's bringing in the harvest. Oh my gosh. Okay. No wonder they wanted me to tap into real divine abundance because we're bringing in the harvest. So what do they want us to keep in mind? So we're, as we're the queen of rose is doing the work, bringing in the harvest. What should we keep in our mind and heart as we are staying connected to real divine abundance? These are real divine abundance messages. What do they want us to keep in mind as we're doing the work with the, in this energy, being back on this energy unceasingly, unceasingly. 
This is gorgeous. It's unceasingly, it's unceasingly, okay? Number one, trust everything right now is in the works for you. Wow. New things are already in process of being created for you and coming in for you soon. Know wholeheartedly you deserve real divine abundance. This is going over anything we say to ourselves in our mind and hearts. This is to stay connected. Trust everything right now is in the works for you. New things are already in process of being created for you and coming in for you soon. You know wholeheartedly you deserve real divine abundance. Cheer yourself on now to victories. There's no need to wait for others' approval or acceptance. Follow your heart and all that lights it up as it is lighting the way forward. Remember, you're the queen of roses. Take the steps now to further expand yourself and your opportunities now and find outlets and channels for all your creativity. You cannot make this up. You're back by the muse and you're the queen of roses doing the work. This is freaking amazing. Let's tap into divine spirit messages for our divine spirit. Oh my gosh, there's only 15 minutes into the video. I can't believe all they gave us so concisely, so clearly. Um, to hold the energy of the Queen of Roses, be the master artist in pouring yourself out into your work and your project. You're backed by this divine energy. And you're also, yes, so you can relax your body now in the stress. Yes, yes, yes. Unbelievable, the last card. You're living your life divinely. But look, relax your body now. Clear out the stress and everything else because this is the divine backing support you have, the help you have. Yes, because you are supported to take action. Can't make this up. Listen to the divine guidance now. Can't make this up. Thought, feel peace, it will be taken care of. You can relax the stress, the burdens, and everything else. We may be feeling the pressure because there's so much work to be done, but you have divine backing. So feel peace, it will be taken care of. Listen to the divine guidance. You're supported to take action. You're living your life divinely. That's the peace you have, that you're living your life divinely and you're backed as you're doing the work. Let's end it with pure love from spirit right now from our loved ones, past donors, spirit guides, to embody the queen of roses as you do the work. What you're doing in your work, it's just important as you're planting the energy in which you're planting everything. It's just amazing. Yes, we will help you through the changes. Remember, we're going to spring to autumn. What was that spring to autumn, the cycle? We're helping you through the changes. We will send you some miracles and we want you to be happy. They want us to be happy. So feel peace that you're being supported to take these actions. They're helping you. They send you some miracles. You're not doing this alone at all. We had the news with Major Arcana, divine love support backing you. They're guiding you, again, doubling down. We will help remove that situation was hidden in there. There's some things that need to go that need to be cleared up that they're helping us with to remove situations that no longer serve or need to be healed through the changes, removing some situations. We're guiding you. Yeah, we know how you feel. We want the best for you. So there is a lot that's getting better, um, that's moving us to more happiness. Remember when I said I couldn't stop smiling? There's more coming in. You're divinely back. They're sending you some miracles. Some things are getting removed that need to. That's part of the changes as we progress forward. They're guiding you. So understand, listen to the divine guidance you're getting. You're definitely getting supported to take action. Have more peace and let go of whatever stress that you may have had or been carrying. We know how you feel because <laughs> underneath it was like, they know that we've been stressing out a little bit. I, I want to say that we've been stressing out a little bit. Um, but now, hopefully after this reading, you understand you have divine love support as you're doing the work um, to embody that queen of roses to embody that queen of roses as you're doing the work because it's bringing in this harvest. Yeah, we know you miss us. So if you've been um, mulling in your head and mind and heart about them, loved ones passed on, um, they know that you miss them. You could be re reflecting and being, thinking of them recently and just they know how you feel and that they, you miss them. And we got, yeah, and they're ending it with this. You can't make this up. We will help you prosper. We're here for you through this. I have chills. That's summing up the entire reading. You have divine help with your creative projects, with your work. They're helping you to prosper. That's why I got chills and waves and smiling ear to ear. We want you to be happy. Follow the guidance. We're here for you through this. They're here for you through this. They're helping us to prosper as we go forward. Embody, the secret is embody that queen of roses. Be conscious that you're the energy as you plant and bringing in the harvest you're doing the work you're the master artisan you're divinely backed you're getting inspiration creative ideas 
um, divine energy. Um, and the energy that you're actually doing the planting with makes a difference too, because you're coming from the queen of roses and you're doing the work. So there is a lot going forward with abundance. They're sending you some miracles. They're getting divine guidance. Look out for signs, symbols, messages, or when you feel guided, follow through. They're definitely helping you prosper. We are here for you through this. Um, I love this. So this has been the Akashic Records reading, definitely backing you for the work that you're doing in the physical. Embody that Queen of Roses. It's bringing in the harvest. It's a cycle of planting for the new harvest. And there's divine backing here in all the ways that you need it. Um, I wish you the best for October. I wish you the very, very best for October. Take care. Bye-bye.